Known as the arts and craft capital of Kentucky, the revered town of Berea and its endless creativity hold a special place in my heart. And a very interesting and committed individual in this community is Ken Gastonow. As an homage to his ancestors, Ken has spent the last 30 years in Berea mastering the fine art of pewter turning. Well, my ancestors were craftspeople in the Middle Ages. They settled in England in the early 1600s, and most of what we do with pewter is an English art. Interesting. Including Interesting. Uh, metal spinning, since um, Kentucky has a bourbon and thoroughbred horse racing industry, people still use traditional julep cups to make juleps. Wonderful. Is this what you're working on today? Yeah, yeah. This, Can I watch uh, you in sure, action? Sure. This is wonderful. This now, is, you're one uh, of very few artists in the United States that's still working with pewter, right? Yeah, there's not a whole lot of people yeah. doing it. I mean, it started in America in the colonial era, um, but it started a long time ago in, in Europe. People started using pewter in Europe in the 1500s and 1600s. Wow. And so it's not just something that people learn to do much anymore. So. You've become quite the master. Well, <laughs> I, uh, these are incredible. So you start off with these pewter sheets, which seem very flexible, yeah. but you end up with something like this, a mug, that seems very dense. Right. People always think this weighs more than this right. once they pick it up, but actually it weighs less because I trimmed a little bit off a few grams. You know? <laughs> Oh, it's very deceptive because this does, yeah, your mind your wants to say that this is, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. is lighter, but this is in fact the same weight. Mm -hmm. Wow. So how do you turn this into this? I'll show you how we do it. Okay. First we have to center the piece, and we're going to use this handy stick here as a lever. And we have to put lubrication on the, the disc because we want to minimize the friction of spinning. And this is a cold process. It will heat up a little bit from friction, but what we're doing is we're bringing the, we're bringing that metal into itself. We're going to reconform this as a cylinder. And we use our body weight with that. That's why we use such a long stick. Actually, the work is being done with my legs. And I'm just using my arms to guide the stick. And you'll see here as we get this moved over, the ideal place to get this metal is about 45 degrees off the plane of the form. And the real work is happening right here, right here in this tight area. That's yeah. where we can put enough force to actually force the metal into itself. You have to actually get down to a molecular level to understand how this is working. What I find fascinating with what you're doing is that you are shaping that cup perfectly without any folds. We're looking at a circle here, and you would think if it was going to go into a cup that it would need right. to be folded right. to make that shape, but look at that. It's well, we're reintegrating that surface area into itself. That way, we're maintaining the thickness of the side walls of the cup. Uh, otherwise, if we didn't do it properly, we would lose that thickness. Now, what is pewter exactly? Well, we use an alloy called Britannia metal, and it was, as I understand, it was first alloyed by a Frenchman in the 1700s. Um, Britannia metal means that metal from Britain, which would be tin, they had tin deposits in Great Britain. And so that's why there was a pewter industry that sprang up in Europe in the Middle Ages. And uh, the alloy of Britannia metal is 92% uh, tin, 6% antimony, and 2% copper. So it has no lead in it like no people always think. I find this so fascinating because there was no melting, no heating, just the, the friction of the heat of the spinning with uh, a wooden stick for you to actually make this pewter cup. Yeah. Look at that, and there it is. So here we have it. So. Oh, Ken. It's a little warm, so. Ooh, yep, it's a little warm. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little warm, I'll put it on here. Wow, it is a little warm. It did heat up with all that friction. Look at that, Ken. That's amazing. Wow, what a well-refined talent. If you'd like to purchase some of Ken's exquisite work, visit our website at homewithdidier.com.